up. Good morning, respected dignitaries and as respected senior scientists sitting in this auditorium, young scientists, dear students, the other staff of NIN Technical Administrative and Finance who built up this the beautiful organization and work very hard. My thanks to all those people who work for building this NIN for years together. First of all, I would like to convey the greetings of Professor Balram Bhargav, who is Secretary to Government of India, Department of Health Research, and also Director General Indian Council of Medical Research. He could not come if he wanted to come, but because of some assignment given at higher ups, he could not make it, but he will definitely come in the next few weeks. And it's not that easy, you know, that for 100 years you live and live with glory. And that's what NIN is all about. A great contribution toward the policies and programs of Government of India with respect to nutrition. My heartiest congratulations to all those who have helped in building up this NIN and we are used to this stage. Data we all know. We all know the problem of undernutrition. We all know that now we are shifting towards overnutrition. Everybody knows the data, what to do. One hand, you have to address undernutrition problem. Other hand, you have to address the problem of overnutrition. How to do that? In the last one decade, there are a lot of deliberations at national and international both level. And good documents are available. And some of you sitting here are the part of developing those documents. Question is that how to identify those bottlenecks in our context, in Indian context, and then address them so that we go in balancing way. You know, we, we have been talking for undernutrition for a very long time, very long time. Overnutrition we started few years back. What went wrong, you know? What went wrong that while talking undernutrition, we are troubled by overnutrition? It is a very complicated situation which we have. And it's the time when we don't talk about data. It's the time of action. And action cannot be in isolation. You have to have an integrated approach. It's not the one person's job. You need a great team, you know. You need all several departments, ministries. They all should work together. And then develop an action plan to address what we have been reading in the, reading in the literature or what people have been deliberating at various forums. I, when Dr. Loma invited me, I looked into the topic, and I felt that this is the one topic which very timely taken up to address. Because when we talk about quality diet, then we do see several other factors which some of the speakers have mentioned, others will mention later on. Several things are involved. It's not the only availability of food, accessibility of food, it's not. System. We are developing countries. Our basic things are dependent on public distribution system. We are dependent on ICDS largely to take care of children. And now, the Honorable Prime Minister of India has launched another scheme, Ayushman Bharat. There we are addressing the non-communicable disease also. And we will have every 
primary health centers, sub centers, community health centers, we are link persons there. A big way, the government of India has taken the initiative. But someone has to put the things together in a little research mode which leads the program and policies modifications. And my plea with that NIN, if NIN cannot do that job, nobody else can do this job. That I am convinced about it. 100 years old, top expertise is present and there are a number of former directors, experts who have been helping NIN for a very long time, all are around. It is the question is that how you use these expertise. We have one person, you see the one bureaucrat I am very impressed and I like is Dr. Rajesh Kumar. For the last few years I am seeing him, how he has been working in the Ministry of Women and Child Development. I am in this game for the last three decades. The first time I have seen that the ministry is working in such an agile manner, unbelievable. But that is the one part the women and child development is addressing very nicely at grassroots level, understanding the problems at grassroots level, and then addressing the best way possible. But here, you know, you need a lot of research component with vision. They use it like the public distribution system, you are giving rice and primarily rice and wheat. But then it does not meet the requirements of micronutrient deficiencies. You have 2 billion people suffering from micronutrient deficiencies. You have the problem that 16,000 children die every day below 5 years. 16,000. And 45% is due to undernutrition and primarily because of the lack of breastfeeding. Small, small things, small, small intervention in organized manner can have big impact. So, you know, so many ministries are involved. You talk about public education system, you have women and child development, health, tribal ministry. So, I think uh, because in, in the center system, you know, we are is a People come and go. Bureaucrats come. We get good bureaucrats like Dr. Raish Kumar who is here for the last few years. So you have seen the impact. But by and large, our system is that people will come and go. But NIN people, NIN still remain here. And now also, NIN has opened up. Earlier, we, our approach was not that broad, you know. Now we have partners, Get Foundation, we have partners, Tata Trust. This has never happened earlier. Just go five to seven years back. It never happened. Because we were confining to ourselves. And this is a good sign that we have opened up. We are having international collaborations. We are having the collaboration with whatever uh, good people around us. This time, I would say that Dr. Hemlata, nobody. You see, you must take initiative and see that we prepare an action plan with all expertise available in India and outside India for our country. Now, well, it's very, very complicated system. Education is a problem. Urbanization, we are moving fast to urbanization. That is also a problem. Job requirements is a problem. You want to have food, but you need money. You need jobs. So there are so many issues, and all together we need to address. I am very founded of that one document which we prepared, National Nutrition Policies in mid-90s, 94. If somebody reads that, it is still relevant. If you just implement that 94 documents in right spirit, I think you will achieve what you want to do. So with this, again, congratulate NIA and all his staff for a wonderful 100 years. And we all should be thankful to NIN and their scientists and researchers for their contribution to the nations. Thank you very much.